chaos. Capital chaos. Capital chaos. Capital chaos TV. Hi, this is Amber with Capital Chaos TV. I am at Vans Warp Tour 2016 in Shoreline. I'm sitting with Kevin from The Interrupters. I'm going to check in with him and see how he's doing. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, this is the last week of the tour, and surprisingly, our energy levels are pretty high, so I'm pretty happy. Do you have any sort of uh, ritual or regimen that you do to keep yourself from just getting exhausted? Do you have to take naps? No, I do sometimes. Not, I, I don't really have time to too often, but today was actually a weird day because we had a doctor here because Amy was really sick. Oh. So the doctor was looking at her, and I got a B12 shot. But I think the doctor, like, missed and hit a nerve or something because I've been limping all day. But I feel pretty good. The, the vitamin B is in me. It's, so. it's cursing through your body, so you're good. <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> and it is beautiful weather. It's 74 oh. or so. Probably the best day we've had on the whole tour. That's rad. Definitely. That's rad. All right, so you guys are on Hellcat Records. You released a album recently called Say It Out, Say it Out Loud. Excuse me. Um, tell me a little bit about that album. Uh, for you personally, what does it mean? Uh, for us personally, it was, um, it was a lot of fun to make because it's our second album. Mm -hmm. And um, first album, we were kind of figuring ourselves out I think and then we did a lot of touring on that and I'm, we're all really proud of the first album but this one was a lot I felt like we put a lot more love into it because we I know we wanted we I felt like we almost got lucky with the first one like mm -hmm. we we didn't try too hard and it turned out good we were all happy with it so this one was like we don't want to make something below that you know we want to try to do our best and I think we did we put a lot of love into it uh same team as the first album it was us with Tim Armstrong producing and um yeah, uh, we're all very happy with it. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And so you guys being, there's not a lot of ska punk bands on Warped Tour. Um, do you, is that a preference of music for you when you're not performing? Is that just something that you're into? Uh, ska punk, it's, we listen to a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. but it's definitely a super fun uh, type of music to play. And yeah, we still go to shows and see, see all sorts of bands. And the cool thing about playing in this band is... Um, all the shows we end up on, you know, throughout the country, there's there's ska punk bands everywhere. So, and we're meeting all of them, and they're all awesome. And uh, and I feel like it was always a staple with Warp Tour um, from the beginning. If you think about it, the very first Warp Tour had Sublime, and they were one of the the bands that really took like uh, punk rock and ska and kind of like put it together, and it, and it hit in a mainstream way mm -hmm. uh, back then. And then you have bands like Rancid, who was doing it. And then even this year, we have Less Than Jake and Real Big Fish, who did Warp Tours in the '90s. So they've done Warp Tours in both uh, centuries, if you think about it. Right? It's pretty crazy, yeah. And how cool is it for you to be able to perform with those bands? I mean, is that kind of like a, I don't know, a goal? Because they've been around for so long. It, it's really cool. We were lucky enough to go on tour with them before this. Mm -hmm. So it was a big combo selling point. We found out they were doing the tour too. It was like, okay, we're going to have familiar people and, and there will be a vibe out there. So yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and regardless of how old those dudes are, they rock. Like they put on an amazing show and the energy. So what is your opinion on mosh pit etiquette? As somebody who's on the stage and you're seeing these kids do it, what are some of the rules you think that they should follow in order to have fun but do it safely? Um, you know what the cool thing is about our band is our mosh pit, like, obviously I've never been in our mosh pit. <laughs> well, actually, there's been a couple shows where we, there was no stage, really, and we got in there. But it's a really fun dance party. And I think the number one rule of etiquette in any mosh pit is if you see someone fall down, you pick them up. Because we're all in it together. No one's trying to hurt anybody. And it's a little rough, you know, people bumping into each other. But they're all having fun. It's not... It's not supposed to be violent. It's just supposed to be a good time, and it, and you know you're letting out your aggressions in a fun, dancey way. And uh, yeah, I think the main rule is if, for etiquette is if someone falls down, you got to pick them up. Yeah, I mm -hmm. agree. All right, Kevin. Well, what else can we expect from you after Warped? What do you have going on for 2016? The rest of 2016, we're going to Europe for three weeks after this and uh, playing some shows, and then we come back and we're putting together a headline tour in the fall. Right now, that's going all through the states and a little bit of Canada. Mm -hmm. Can you share with us at all who's going to be with that? Uh, not yet, but in about a week's time, uh, we'll put it all over the place. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. So please check out The Interrupters. Find them at a city near you. Is there anything you want to say to your fans or anyone who's going to watch? Um, oh, check out our website. We are theinterrupters.com, and that'll all the tour dates and all that stuff. Or don't. I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. <laughs> <laughs> or do. Or do. All right, so... <laughs> We've been asking all the bands this question because it's just been something that's been brought up. In your experience as a musician, when you're performing and sometimes you're at that point where you're in the crowd, do you get grabbed on a lot? 
Inappropriately? Yes. No. No. It's always appropriate. So your fans are respectful. Yes, totally. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to hear. That's good to know. <laughs> he's he's a person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That's it. That's Capital Chaos TV. And we're out. My heart's out still, baby.